Charlie, what happened? It's like more here and you're welcome back to another video on the channel. If you are struggling like me, trying to find players for your ultimate team, well, this is the perfect video for you. I've got some hidden gems, well, some hidden players you could actually use in your ultimate team to make it very, very better. Well, let's try to find out who these players are. Well, usually EA releases squad foundation players and the first of this kind, well, the first of this year, FIFA 23, was the area division. And they released three players. In your short year, the three players from the Netherlands. Interesting players and, well, they do quite a lot for my team. You can just tell they slotted in perfectly. I use this team for division rivals, foot champions, squad battles everywhere. And, and they are doing wonders. If you don't know what squad foundations are, let me just show you where you can find it. So you go back here and then go to home find your objectives and well your milestones as well well you can see mls or well, the mls foundations also just came out so you can check out the mls as well but in this video i'm going to be talking about well the squad foundations for the area division i'll be going downwards because i've already completed it as well so the squad foundations for the area division so there it is the left back first the, the first left back window you can see another right back in there get through that it's just quite annoying because you have to play about 20 matches as you can tell 20 matches in squad battles on well semi-pro difficulty that's quite annoying but you can also play in rivals so if you really want to enjoy the game you can play in rivals so if you are trying to complete the well the area divise squad foundation just come to milestones and you find them there now let's check out well the real deal the players as well hmm interestingly when i got them into the team i was thinking about chemistry but they are all from the same country as well the netherlands so it quite makes it easier for all the chemistry system to fit so let's start from the the left back yes owen Window. very very interesting card as well he's five nine the height is pretty good for a left back and he also passes the eye test when you watch his statistics good pace that acceleration and the sprint speed is quite good you can see his jumping is not the best but in game he's not beaten by well the taller attacker so it's pretty good and Oven Vrindau is also a sight for sore eyes at the back he's really really quick and he catches up to well the quick attackers as well and in player traits is also a speed dribbler so he's not that kind of slow defender that you can't just pass out of the back but you can also dribble with him as well so that's Oven Vrindau for you and well my favorite of all of the three get through that at center back He's a beast at the back and mind you when you put on the chem style the architect you make him lengthy and if you don't know what lengthy is then it seems like you haven't been playing fifa ultimate team this year lengthy the lengthy players are just bullying everyone and get through that you can also make him lengthy with the architect chem style so there is have it get through that also with decent height for a center back six one also can't play at right wing back and right back wow that's actually crazy and i'm benefiting from it every single time i use him so you can always switch him up if you already have a center back that you prefer you can always play him a right back as well his attributes are really really crazy for a center back imagine a center back having 84 acceleration and 85 pace and also being lengthy i think the lengthy conversation will have it another time but it's so important for your players to be lengthy as well just look at the jumping stats on the 95 jumping Aggression 75, stand tackle 84, slide tackle 83. So he can win the ball back for you as well. Very, very important. It's also a speed dribbler and a power header. So he's also going to be very, very useful in those corner situations as well. Get through that. Also passes the items. When you watch him in game, I think it's so important that he just slots in the back for you. So, so quick. Also very good on the ball as well. So get through that as well. My gem compared to the other two. But the, the, all of the three are very, very good at my story. And the last player, hmm, Bazur. Did I get the pronunciation right? Richard Lee Bazur. Yeah, I think it's okay. Plays for AZ Alkma and the Eredivisie. Also from Holland. Six foot zero for a central defensive midfielder is quite impressive because you can win those aerial balls when well, your opponent launches them into well, your defense and interestingly you can also play at center back so you if you don't have a capable center back that you can play you can always look to bazaar to fill that spot for you and his attributes also really really looking good 
got good jumping his passing as well for a midfielder of course he has to get good passing short passing 86 long passing 87 good good care on him as well so bazaar is really really impactful when i'm always using him his player traits are also really really impressive and it seems like the player traits are always underrated by a master they do a lot for the player when you are using him in game and it feels like they're always they always have something up their sleeves when compared to all the other players in the game so that is it for the squad foundations players in the area division and i recommend that you well you grind through them and then try to complete them it's like well here yeah, thanks for watching the video catch some other time